So the obvious choice for my debt payoff plan is going to be the snowball method. And here's why. So it really doesn't matter if I do the debt snowball method or the debt avalanche method because the pedal credit card is still going to be the lowest one. Um, it's the smallest balance um, and it's also the highest interest rate. But honestly, I want to tackle my direct student loan because it is in a COVID forbearance, a COVID-19 forbearance, and it has a zero monthly payment with a zero interest rate. Basically, I'm going to do both of these at the same time. So when I pay off that next student loan, I'm also going to pay off uh, the pedal credit card. So both of those are going to be the ones that I'm tackling right now. So honestly, for me, the debt snowball method is the best because I want to feel like I have a win. I want to feel like I'm actually achieving something. So for, let me go ahead and show you how I have it on my whiteboard actually. Here's my crazy little desk and I got this whiteboard because I want to see front and center my debt-free journey and as you can see here this is the smallest student loan and when i started it was two thousand five hundred and eighty six dollars and thirty cents and i have a payoff debt to pay this off february 1st 2022 and like i said i started my debt-free journey on august 3rd and these are the payments that i have been making or that i made so far and this is the new balance so the current balance is 2311 dollars so the last payment i made was august 18 so i'm just gonna wait until september 1st to make another payment because i'm gonna track my progress monthly so i feel a little bit dumb because had i known uh, a couple of my student loans had zero interest rate during this whole COVID-19 forbearance I would have been making payments on my smallest student loan and who knows it probably would have been paid off right now oh well so let me show you something else here is the list of all my debt so let me go ahead and tally all this up so you can see exactly how much I owe yes do you see that horrifying crappy number $159,952.45 that is how much I owe and just in case you're wondering why I have these two highlighted in red um, the interest rate for this is 6.5 and that is still accumulating to this student loan whereas the monthly payment is zero and these are two student loans that I have from college when I went to Syracuse the bigger ones are private student loans and they're like fuck you pay me that's why I have that in red because every month this number keeps increasing so there you have it I am hundred and sixty thousand dollars in debt so if you are someone who is serious about doing a debt-free journey do what I'm doing buy yourself a whiteboard put it front and center so you can see your debt that will help motivate you every single day to pay off your debt fast